guys, Kath from Edible Backyard here and today we're doing a bit of pruning. I've got uh, an apricot here um, to prune and I just want to quickly run through the goals of pruning. So this is a mature tree so we're into cycles of renewal now um, for this tree here. Uh, some, of the, some of the wood will start to get a little less productive and a little condensed and we can um, prune it back off and encourage some nice fresh growth to come through. Light is everything when you're pruning your fruit tree because wood bathed in light is productive wood. It inspires buds which is, inspires flowers and then fruit. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the middle. This is a called a vase shape and um, so it's got um, three or four uh, branches coming off at a similar point um, going out in an angle and the middle of it needs to be completely open for light to get all the way in. So I'll just get my pruning saw. Okay, I'm just going to get in here. Cuts like this, you know, your goal is to um, is to make a nice flush um, cut, and I'm actually going to do this in two stages. I'm just stacking my prunings up beside the tree. It's a really good way to keep it real about how much you've taken off. So our goal is really no more than a third of the tree's canopy at any one time. Okay, that looks better. Alright, so now I've opened the middle up. Um, now I'm going to come out here and work on these uh, branches. So this is the future fruit. It's the fruit this season. It's going to grow. These lovely little buds here. So just bear that in mind because that is your goal at the end of the day is to have lots of fruit. These shoots here, I'm going to head them back. Um, which is just trimming them, trimming them back um, just to keep the energy um, pushed down and concentrated for a small compact tree stop it running away and once again to make sure that light because when that's covered all in leaves I don't want this fruitful branch to be in shadow um, so trim them to a bud to an outward facing bud um, our goal is to um, shorten everything to around about the same height so that really over vigorous shoots um, bring them back, head them back to about the same size as the not so vigorous shoots keeps the tree in a really nice balanced strong shape. When there's a cluster of upward growing shoots like this I will remove one completely and reduce two of them or head back two of them so the two I've headed back will hopefully become fruitful um, fruitful shoots or spurs as we call them. These fruit spurs are getting a little bit old and crusty and far away from each other um, so I'm completely trimming them off especially I mean this is a <laughs> That's an extreme example, that fruit spurs really died and gone to heaven. So we just take it off. The great thing of fruit trees is they just, uh, they just renew. They'll just put out new shoots. This spur here is what we want. So it's nice and tight into the branch. It's got quite a lot of lovely buds all close together. Uh, this one here, the fruit buds are really long way away. See how there's all that empty wood? So I'll just um, trim that right off. These ones we like, they're nice and tight and robust, we leave them. This one too, that's fine. All this wood here I'm going to trim off because it's in the shade um, and therefore it's not going to be productive because it's light, it's all about the light. Our pile's getting um, quite, quite close to about a third um, so I am conscious of that. I'm, I'm, I've just got this one corner here to clean up and, um, and then we'll be done. Finally, it's a really good idea to stand back. So just walk away a little way and get a bit of perspective and then it's, uh, uh, anything's going to stick out, it'll be really obvious. Oh, I missed this one. Heading into the tree. Clean those two away. Well, 
I'm happy with that. It's looking looking good, looking ready for another nice crop of fruit. <laughs>